our mission upon our channel is to compile and present enough evidence of the existence of a past, highly capable, technologically advanced ancient civilization that once flourished here upon our planet, that it not only proves their existence beyond reasonable doubt, but vindicates all those who have either lost careers, funding or worse, just for telling the truth. Our intention is to display to the world that a civilization once lived here on our planet that not only mastered the art of stone masonry, but quarried, moved and built with stones of such gigantic weights, not only do their activities escape modern explanation, but have been deliberately ignored, covered up and denied by an academia who claim to have all the answers. There are many areas of the planet which still possess many of these compelling artifacts, not only supporting our premise and conviction, but baffle all who try to explain them. And although, predictably, rarely shared by academics the world over, one of these ancient places is known to the modern man as Italy. Seemingly littered with not only polygonal masonry, ancient pyramidal structures, multi-ton lintels and archways, but contains countless other compelling, extremely ancient yet surviving features, which not only indicates the existence of this past civilization, but have been investigated by a number of alternative antiquarians throughout the eras, who, after in-depth analysis, have come to predictably startling conclusions in regards to their age and, indeed, possible origins. We have in the past covered a number of these ancient sites, one of which being the Cyclopean Wall, which still surrounds the ancient Acropolis of Alatre, and indeed the astonishing polygonal masonry which makes up the apparently Greek-constructed Necromantion, a place not only proven due to the polygonal architecture to undoubtedly predate this academic explanation, but also, thanks to our own study of the site, has fingerprints left by a tool within the main chamber said to be the passageway to the underworld of Hades that we have identified and linked to a number of other unexplained sites found throughout the world. However, this coverage of the Italian relics we have so far explored is but a fragment of what is actually hidden among the winding streets and rolling hills of Italy. Alternative researchers, most notably Giuseppe Lugli, have carried out studies of the unexplained polygonal techniques which can still be found existing within Italy. The ancient fortifications and polygonal walls, which were researched and initially noted by Giuseppe, include Alatri, Norma, Arpino, Assini, Saracena Gate, Cosa, Alba Fusens, Segni, Pigra, Blera, Lazio, Bomarzo, Latium, San Felice Circio, Latina, Chiusi, Etruria, Toscania, Vitrala, Viterbo, Monte Albano, Sovana, Toscana, Nardo di Pace, Tirna, Lago di Pitiluca, Orvieto, Umbria, Tuscany, Marema, Sorano, Syracuse, Sicily, Val di Saviore, Serviteri, Savignano, and so on. As Richard Cassero puts it, a modern researcher of these enigmatic ruins, quote, the countryside around Rome is littered with relics of a past more or less remote. One feels almost a continuity there, between the ancient and the modern world, with the ancient Roman ruins being almost a familiar presence, as if part of the natural landscape. Yet one also finds there remains of a much older and mysterious past. Massive cyclopean walls and circle towns and villages their stones darkened by the passing of centuries and millennia. One can never get used to them, so strange they are in their interlocking geometries and so different from the familiar contours of Roman and medieval walls. They loom as a relic from an entirely different past of which we know almost nothing." End quote. And as mentioned, although we have only personally covered the Cyclopean walls surrounding Alatri, Similar ancient fortifications can seemingly be found enclosing countless other ancient ruins all over Italy. The small towns of Sutri, Emilia, Pelestrina, Ferentino, Segni, Cesa, Veroli, and Arpino 
all in the province of Frosinone, Norba, Cori, and Circe, Cortona, Cuma in the province of Latina, Emilia in nearby Umbria, as far as Ancedonia, Orbitello, and Roselle in Tuscany and Albufucens in Abruzzo, are entirely surrounded by cyclopean walls, surviving to this day in various states of preservation, an indication of a fear these people had of some form of outsider. The stone walls, some of which constructed from truly gigantic blocks, each weighing many tons, are as finely fitted together as the many other mortarless ruins found elsewhere the world over, such as within ancient Peru. But it is their near-impossible acute angles and interlocking corners that cause the greatest of amazement, that just like the polygonal masonry found all over the world, was created as if each stone was individually carved to be a piece of a gigantic jigsaw puzzle. These features, along with their gigantic scale, are relics not only overlooked by the thousands of people who visit Italy each year, but, as we have previously discussed, are overwhelming evidence of an ancient civilization far more capable than any of the well-studied ancestors that academia claim as the original builders. These remnants are undoubtedly evidence of a past civilization that were not only vastly more proficient in masonry than even the modern man, but were also obsessed with building enclosed fortifications, as if to avoid some form of outside invader or possible natural threat. Who built ancient Italy? Why did they build with such focus on fortification? How old are these relics? We feel that due to their inexplicable nature, they are undoubtedly relics left by a now lost civilization, yet continue to be ignored by an academia who deny this people's past existence. Regardless of these denials, we find ancient Italy highly compelling. <laughs>